Oh well, no, I've only got two reds because one's crimson and one's they're they're ones that it, they're, they're very similar. That's all. Not really, but that's okay. Those are, those are the actual colours. Yes, I do, but then I've seen two on yours, yeah. so I put my two reds. Okay, well, that's all right. right Don't fret. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks. Right, I've gone live on Facebook. So what I will, while you're settling in and stuff, I will inform you of the plans over coming weeks. If there are plans. Someone's going to have a plan, aren't they? Um, <laughs> if we, we take our, our lead from what happens to schools and colleges and whatever. So if schools close, the physical side of this classroom will close. Um, but I've spent the last week creating Facebook groups, closed groups for every single class I teach. So what, I, what I'm doing anyway, with, with permission for those that come without fail month in, month out, for your £12 when you come here physically, I'll still put you in the group so you can watch it back to do again any other time. But then if you are poorly, because you're supposed to be paying a £5 deposit anyway, in theory, um, if, you, if you can't make the lesson, then that £5 deposit covers the online lesson instead. So you can always watch us online um, regardless, which I think is the best, best way possible in this situation. Um, so we're having more and more people join us um, online um, as they're staying away from isolate. You know, they're isolating themselves more and more. So um, it will be a thing soon. And if, and if over 70s have to isolate, that's a good chunk of my customer base, <laughs> my student base, that will be awful, which will be awful if they have to isolate without any anything so if they can still access the free less you know not the free lessons if they can access the lessons without coming here they can join in here if it's just me or here whoever's in the room um and still interact with people which i think is just as important um because i think the isolation for some will be more destroying than than actually catching the the illness um yeah. So it's it's a difficult time. It's unprecedented, isn't it? Really, yeah. since the Spanish flu, really, mm -hmm. we don't really know. And it is it is almost like a war on this virus because there'll probably be lots of things that we won't have planned for over the next <coughs> few months. I don't know. Um, so the shop will stay open until it's forced to close, like it has in Italy and Spain. Because sadly, as much as I love art supplies, I realise they're a non-essential shop. Um, so when non-essential shops close, we'll have to close. Um, but I'll either um, creep up here and carry on teaching the class or I will um, teach from home, which I can do. So providing I don't get ill, the classes will all run in some form, either here or online or both or one or the other. So that's the plan. I've only drawn a thin line and a bit of a tree. Because this is the, oh yeah, for the benefit of Paul, who has joined us live. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> um, that's, the, that's the image we're working from. It is something I did in Great Borton class um, about a few weeks ago now, and everybody said how lovely it was. But a lot of my Great Borton students come to also either the acrylic class or the watercolour class during the week, so they can't do it again. So I thought, <clears> oh, <throat> the, the Sunday class, they can benefit yeah. from this. So, take it away again for the sketch. So you just roughly sketch that. Very rough. Very, very rough. Because you always then paint right over it and I can't see my... Egg, exactly. I mean, so you just, you just want to keep it as vague as possible. I've vaguely done it. I'm going to paint over it. So look at your picture mm. rather than his, because I always look at his and then end up with a, a, an identical picture to Barry's. It's, identical it's hard to Barry's. tell the difference. Mm -hmm. It is. Especially when I take a picture of Barry's and tell John, I was like, oh, look what I painted today. <laughs> and hide my original. <laughs> this is 
Yeah, I think I've lost about two hundred pounds so far in cancellations of classes and gigs and singing. So if they, and if they all pay a five pound deposit. No, a lot of them made. hadn't. You need to be on the <coughs> Exactly. Now. This is this is the thing. But it's sort of I suppose I can't blame it's people tricky, for wanting to it? stop away, you know what I mean? How much do is it for us? Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. And then five pounds online if 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 we go that way. But if you come anyway you'll be online. You know? Um, so that's from Jess. Thank you. Um, I don't know about the online thing. I don't, won't sit down and take the time to do it. Would you not? I'd come here. Is that allowed or won't I be allowed? No, you won't be allowed if we're in lockdown. Okay. If so we, you it, have to take time to do it. We won't be doing anything else, though, because you won't be able to leave the house. No. At all. No, I'll have to clean the toilets and all sorts of things. Yeah, or, or do an online art class. <laughs> yeah. To, to stop. <laughs> And you've got bank details, haven't you? Yeah. You can pay by PayPal or by bank transfer. Or while the shop is still open, you can pay. But, you know, what What a lot of my Thursday afternoon class, who, who come every week regardless, is they've just all gone online as well. So they'll they'll come to the class, and then when they go home and they think, oh, how, how, how did he actually mix that colour or what bit? They can watch it again as part of your £12 class. It's not an extra, it's not an extra fee. Um... And then, because you've not, you've only missed about three, and I don't, I don't miss this. This we we plan to come to the exactly. Sunday. I don't miss. So it'd be beneficial for you to come to be in that group, Grace, and then you can use it if you want to use it or not, because it won't cost you any more because you pay to come here anyway. You know. Okay. Okay. So shall I add you two to the online group? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. and you because you come every Sunday, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So, so it means you can look, you can look at the Sunday ones whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be so, so because you because you come every month anyway, you can just look. Um, you can go back. You can go on to that group, and you can go back. Oh, well, this is the first one I'm doing on this group. Um, but you'll be able to go back tonight or next week or next month, and try it again or see the colours or see the techniques. So it's a good additional thing for you, but equally, it's a useful thing. If you can't make it, you're not losing out either because you can do it. Like like that Thursday night that you missed, if I was doing that then, you could have either joined us at home or watched it the next day or yeah. when you got... So it's, it's, it's a really useful thing, I think. Um, trying to utilise the technology as much as we can, especially at this sort of weird time anyway. So it's kind of happening. It's forced my hand to do it, but, uh, you know... That's fine. And I've got to give you some change, haven't I? Grace. Are you ready? There's no rush. Are you ready? Yeah. How much are you? 12, 12, 24. 24. 25. 24. 25. Should have a fiver somewhere. On my Holland and Barrett card. <coughs> there you go, madam. Right, so we all drawn. This was my painting version. You probably see. I think. I think. I know you two saw it because yeah. I think it was one of your favourites on, yeah. on the thing. So you're actually going to get to do it now. <laughs> oh dear. It'll look better, Miriam. It'll be fine. Wonderful. It'll be wonderful. It yeah, will be wonderful. Yeah, it's clearer then when you did that. What clearer? You have a clearer picture than us, have you? What? Same picture, isn't it? It's the same. Yes, yeah, the same. It's just when you put it on that screen. It, the colours change slightly. <laughs> I've actually, if you notice in the painting, I made more of the glow, yeah. mm -hmm. which I think is nicer. Oh, it was the painting you That was up. the painting. Not and I thought oh. how much clearer that was. See? <laughs> <laughs> I like the painting much better than that. <coughs> Good. I'm glad. So it's, but I love this tree. I've got lots of, I, I haven't taken this photograph, but I have got lots of different, um, photos of this dead tree at diff in different weather types really quite nice to look let me film this as you know well where it is? i think it's in the national trust somewhere i like oh, the pink and blue in your sky yeah i i really enjoyed doing that it was a, this, i mean i did this in 45 minutes this was a 45 minute demo 
Yeah, you um, don't have to wait for us, though, do you? You don't have all this chattering. Well, I just, I just went straight into it, you see, um, and just do it, but with... We took out all our chatterings and put it's some probably, It's probably <laughs> only 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Did you say I all our so. chattering? I was going to say, yeah. All our chattering. so great. <laughs> if we cut out all our listening... <laughs> Because we've got no Linda today, have we? No, she's in Terrace. Yeah. So I'll probably be using my usual brushes, my squirrel and two other you small ones. Still in his pocket. Wasn't it, what did, what did what's his name? No, I wasn't being rude. <coughs> Don't make me laugh. Bob, Bob <coughs> Ross had me in his pocket. <coughs> he did have a squirrel. Was it a squirrel? He did have a squirrel did and I've forgotten the squirrel's name. Squirrel? Where's the squirrel here? Is this a real squirrel? It was a real squirrel. He rescued. He used to rescue animals. Bless him. So go with your big brush and wet wet your whole page. I'm just going to go out and have a quick cough. I'm not contagious and I've just got a cold. No temperature. Paul, just, you're okay. Yeah, I won't breathe on you, Paul. Too close to the mic. <laughs> I give it a good wetting, a bit more than you normally would. Did you see that picture on Facebook? Bambi Sharon for some no. posted that up for themselves. Funny. Picture of whiteface? You know what's up. I might have seen it better. Which one are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one. Yeah. 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 If you've got any of these left in your cupboard, I'm just going to stockpile. <laughs> All right. Go stockpile these. Protect yourself from the. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not sure how safe it would be, but it, it, whatever. <laughs> I'm just waiting for all the men to go and buy them. Oh, Walk around with tampons on the I don't think they would. I have warm vinegar. Yeah. So you've gone down to the, the whole page? Or yeah, the whole page is wet because I've added a bit of the cardiolo there. Are we doing the same brush? Yeah, same brush. I'll be doing most of it with this one. It holds a lot of paint and a lot of water, so the wetter you can get it, the better it is. But it gets a really nice point. Sometimes I've done whole paintings in, in these. Is that the only yellow we're using? Yes. Now, for the three ladies with materials supplied, you've actually got two reds. One's crimson and one's a bit of a rose madder. So if you wanted to make it a bit more pink, put some rose madder in. Um, which I'm going to just pull out pull out the colour so it's a little bit orangey because I've still got it on my brush and then I'm going to mix so you see the two the, the two reds I've mixed together on my tile so we just got the one red you got the one red yeah yeah you could mix the two so this is just crimson. It'll go a funny orangey colour. So you're mixing the two reds? You can do, or you can just stick with the one. They're very similar in colour, just one's a little bit pinkier. And then I'm going to go across. But my brush isn't hasn't been washed. It's still got a bit of the yellow. But, oh, it might be the brushes. Um, occasionally there's a bit of residue because there's a sealant on the bristles when they sell them. Ah, uh. So it'll just, just brush just, off I'll when it's this. dry. I'll, I'll do this and then wait. <laughs> I think mean, it's supposed to be a bit. Is yeah, you want it all runny. No, it's running into the yellow. Yeah, that's fine. Because you want to sort of blend the glow together if you can. I if you notice... Yeah, right across to the tree, and I can still just about see where my tree is. Oh, but I have left a little space at the top. Oh, 
but you don't have to have but i have left a little one because that's where the blue's going to go you see I've left a little bit of a space at the top too. Now. <laughs> this is the one thing that we have to do quickish. Um, and then if I mix a tiny bit of crimson with the blue, and you don't need much blue, that can go in the top. See, it's quite a strong blue. This is phthalo blue that I've got. <coughs> Cerulean. Which blue have you got? I've got Let's have a look. one light and one dark by the looks of it. Is it this one? Go with that one, but no. don't use much of it because that's intense blue and it's quite crunchy. You'll see once you've um, got it on the paper. Mm. Bit of blue up there. Mixed in with the red, or <coughs> yeah, you only need a, ti a tiny bit of red just to make it less in your face, <laughs> and then you can use some of that to create cloudy bits just so it feels because we're supposed to have a relaxing scene. I don't want you to get stressed out get about stressing. it, kind of defeats the object, doesn't it? The finished result. Might be relaxing, but you've all gone mad trying to get it done. And don't forget, it will dry 30% lighter than the colour. <coughs> the blue's pushing the uh, pink away, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a heavier pigment, I think. Keep it nice and... I've been doing a bit more on my self-portrait as well. I loved your eyes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to shove some of this blue down my bottom as well. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, ladies. Dear me, it's like a carry-on film in here today. I think you're better off at home, Paul. Mind you. Go I ahead. forgot Paul was there. Hello, Paul. <laughs> And I always post the painting of the uh, of the finished thing within the comments section of the video, so you'll have that to refer to. And if I remember, I also put the photograph in. Kevin's always been telling me off for, uh, for not doing that. So once I've done that, I'm going to let it dry. And I'll show you my self-portrait if I can lunge. I've added this more colour glazes to it now, but it's got a dry so I, before I can put the next layers on. It's still a bit tacky. That's it so far. Oh, oh wow. Wow. You've done more than yesterday. Yes, I have. I had no customers from about 12 o'clock, so... <laughs> <coughs> no, it's it's the social distancing, so it's giving me a chance to paint. Mm. But it's get, it's, oils it's, or well, the underpainting was in acrylics, so it was all done in sort of mm. green grey first, which I, I think I put on my own Facebook a side by side of two different portraits. I did. So this was with yellow, yellow ochre, black, and white. So the whole painting was in an underpainting, and this has got oil glazes on it, so you can still see the underpainting through. And then I'm just building up the highlights. And the textures I need to do a bit more on my eyes but yeah it's coming on i try i try to challenge myself to a a self-portrait every now and then because um it's good to challenge yourself isn't it so i just let this dry they're nice aren't they yeah it makes the clouds more cloudy well it's they're they're really nice brushes to use i mean i've i've been using this brush now for it's got to be coming up to a year and it's still got a decent point on it and if you work out how many paintings in watercolor i do every week yeah. probably about four or five paintings a week i do and the brush is still good they're expensive i mean the the, the squirrel ones i think they're about 20 quid but they do hold a lot of water and paint so it, it's good for skies yeah. and spreading it about 
I'm you said it makes I'll keep saying on my clouds always yeah. square and with this one it seems yeah, to be Yeah, exactly. A, a flat brush can make your clouds quite square ended. Which clouds generally aren't, funny enough. Exactly. <laughs> What do you, what year do you work with then, Jess? Sixteen to eighteen year olds. Oh right, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The worst olds. <laughs> yes. No, year five any day. Is that what year you work with? Yeah, I used to be year five and year six, art and re. Stop playing. I'm going to give this a blast because I can see I've got a bit of a dimple forming okay. and I know I'm going to get a cauliflower. It might reappear, look, once it, once it dries, it might just stand out a little bit. Could Maybe I use your... You can. Oh. Oh. Let's lift that over. Yours is more... I like yours. I think I need a bowl. It should be, um, yeah. It should be all dusty. Oh. Yeah. 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 It's the strong one, that one. Did you want it too? I got a little bit for it in the paper. Yeah, I got some over here. Yeah, mine's too dark. No, it would be lovely. I think that'll be fine. So lovely. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yours is going the right kind of blue, but... Well, we're going to cover most of it up with black now, aren't we? <laughs> we will at some point, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. This house is coming from it like pillows. When it gets totally dry, actually, mine's mine's still cockled a little bit. I've got. Yeah, can you see that? Again. It go. It does go flat again. Most of when I add a bit more one, moisture to it. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. You're doing two, Grace. <laughs> so what I want to do now, I mean, if you look here, this is sort of misty within the glow. And if I show you the other painting. I I over pushed it to make it feel much softer and glow. So it's quite watery to get that transparency. Mm. But it's just with the yellow and the red <coughs> to make a bit of an orange. Which brush are you using? A little small round brush yeah. for this one. But loads and loads of water. So we've got what, yellow and... Yellow with a, a bit of red. So it goes sort of a pinky orange, but the yellow is the dominant colour. And you want to make sure when you mix it, you can see quite a bit of the white tile through it, so it's not a really heavy colour. If you mix your yellow and your red together, that would be fine. Yeah, not much red, quite a bit of yellow. Yeah, it's too much red. And then move it around in a sort of dotty motion. Fairly flat base. And play around with your bush shapes. You might find some a little bit taller. And as well, don't forget, it will it will dry lighter, so it's sort of allow for that as well. But I will add a tiny bit more red as I move. Towards that tree. It looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does at the moment. It does. A smiling dinosaur. Let's fill him in a little bit. Mm. Ah. Red and yellow. Yeah, more yellow than red to start with, and then as you move across towards the right, you can add a bit more red. starts to feel like the lights <coughs> from this left hand area. I hope you're doing all right with this Paul. I'm sure it will look lovely this because it's it's your kind of picture isn't it? So what I want to do, as I get to the right hand of this tree, is I'm just using a bit of extra water on my brush just to fade out the shapes because we want to add slightly darker bits afterwards. And I might do the same with the underneath of these bushes, just add a little <coughs> bit of paint with a little bit of water. soften it because obviously this isn't this isn't water this is land but we need to build our layers up don't we
so if you use the point of your brush that makes good leaf shapes <coughs> because it um the brush is just forced outward so the point of your brush is facing out so you'll get a little bit of that leaf foliage look Plenty of time. I know that's always the problem, isn't it, when that happens? You have to get sort of an orangey colour. Yeah, it's a little paler. I guess it's getting too dark. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's not exact colour, that's nice. That's going to glow beautifully. Honestly. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Because <laughs> Miriam, you did an amazing one last month, didn't you? That's all you said. Yeah. <laughs> and, I would, and I wouldn't lie. <laughs> Was that what was what was last month? Was that that was it's it? It's the um, moonlight over the sea. Oh palm yes. Trees, the palm yes. Tree. Yeah. Yeah. Just almost I like that blue one. and black with that little bit of yellow, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then before that, you but you did a nice barn in the snow, didn't you? Before Christmas, the January time. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <coughs> What's that? Nah. Nah. So, have you brought yes. some of your ground down? Yes. So, I need to bring more of that down. Yes, just so it's less of a contrast of the yellow. How did you do your leaves again, sorry? So, use the point of your brush and face outwards and just do little dabs and dots. So, the pointy bit of the brush always faces. To create a leaf shape and then miss a bit and do a bit okay <coughs> and the quicker you do it sometimes the more natural it looks because it's very random and trees are very random now paul i'll be interested to know later on if you're gonna do your tree leaves as little kisses or as little dabs or a mixture of both you could do because there's a range of trees here in the picture so you could do both if you got the time i guess so i just want that to dry and then we'll move on to the next thing so we'll gradually so basically what we want is this glow to start then it goes into a bit more purples then it goes into a bit more blues then it goes into a bit more grays because if you look at the look how blue that mist is there it's quite blue isn't it and that's a bit purpley where the light's still with it. So um, we're going to try and recreate that effect. It's possible, I promise. And since I've done it before, I definitely know it is. Sometimes I just have to hope it is. And trust in the process, which is the important thing. I say that a lot, trust in the process, because with watercolours you have to, you've got to believe it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Because the darks don't come on until the end, so. Oh yeah, with any of you that's been old in it, so you can suck your brush. But they're nice to hold, aren't they, those mm, brushes? Shiny. Shiny. You've been up to anything exciting, Grace? Oh, how was your, did you, did you dive in? <laughs> we're, um, we're, we're just waiting to have our holiday cancelled. You've done all of the practice. <laughs> done all the practice. We've, we've qualified to two metres, so we can swim to two metres qualified we now have to do the deep water but that's a bit of a problem if they cancel aeroplanes and holidays mm -hmm. which is in two weeks, two weeks. 
Where was it you were going to go? I had, I had, I had one student on I had one student, unfortunately, who um, had got booked a holiday with Thompsons, and Thompsons went under, and they'd got another holiday booked to India recently, and India's revoked all. Yeah, my sister's in Cyprus, and she was supposed to be coming yesterday, and they closed the borders in Cyprus, so she she was actually reasonably grateful because if she'd flown here and then kept closed, been she'd been stuck here. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? You you're best off just stopping in, but it, you know when you book ahead, you can't. You can't plan for stuff like this. But it's best if they cancel, because then you can get it all back, yeah, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, so that's what we're waiting for it to be cancelled. So I'm going with a little bit of red and a tiny bit of blue. Oh, that's quite strong, that blue, Barry. No. Let's go with a bit more red. That's it. That's better. Goodness sake. Anybody think I don't know how to mix colours? More of an aubergine. Very watery. And then I'm going to add that That's to this color. tree. Water is your friend. Yeah, eggplant. Managed to get that first time. <laughs> well done. Because <laughs> you don't put too much red or too much. Cause, well, because phthalo blue is quite a punchy colour, so it's quite tricky to get exactly the shade you want straight away. Okay, but it, yeah, strong in it. So as I want it to merge into the red glowy bush, I'm adding a bit more water to the paint towards the left hand side. Oh God, I've got a cauliflower here and I haven't even... So if you do, if you add a lot of red, mix up a lot of red on your tile, then add tiny amounts of blue, like pinhead size. That should help. bit of blue underneath just to soften it but again with that we want to fade out the right hand side and the left hand side to this one just with water so we're starting the darkening process as we move our way across Oh, the gouache. I have some in the paint palette and it's mixed in the community. Uh, yeah, it's, um, that's the trouble when you get it where you don't want it. Speaking of where you don't want it, I was I had a lunchtime class last week, as uh, well, just gone Wednesday, and we were painting like Jackson Pollock in acrylic, so we were spattering paint all over the place. <coughs> it went, my, my desk is, is just covered. We've got it everywhere. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere, all the lamps are spattered. <laughs> it's pretty colours though, so that's okay. Because if we don't let each bit dry before we move on to the next bit, that's when you'll start getting cauliflowers and it'll bleach out. But they look lovely. They do look lovely. <laughs> but it it's won't give you the... It's fine, in, it's fine in your sky, but obviously when you're doing trees like this, yeah. <laughs> it's possibly better without a cauliflower. But if you get one, just say it was meant to be there. Who's going to check? <laughs> a cauliflower happens... Um, and it's a, it's only in a watercolour term. If you've got a, a paint that's already drying and then you put another colour in near to it, it pushes the nearly dry paint 
out and it dilutes it and it gives it a frothy top like a cauliflower. Okay. Um, so you either have to do it while it's all wet or wait for it to dry, then put a colour on. <coughs> but some artists spend their career trying to make lovely cauliflowers in their work and sometimes <laughs> it works really well. We did um, a class recently where we did moss-covered tree roots and <laughs> we were making cauliflowers. I don't know if I've got that. What should I have in my folder? Um, to make the moss, and it worked really well. Moss, there is some moss that looks like it. Yeah. <coughs> Could be in here oh yeah, there you go. If you can see all those oh, little nice. fuzzy bits. Yeah. That's that's a cauliflower, but it works well where you want it to. But sometimes it mainly happens. Occasionally, it works well where, where you don't, you want, don't it to. want it to. <laughs> but mostly. It yeah, on my sky was accidental, but I think I quite like it. <laughs> no, I'm going to cover up my blobs in my sky. You're going to have an even bigger tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest tree. Right, so what's that? We're also then going to cover up some of the front. So. Yes. Actually, I'm going to use some of this purple, since I've got some, to put a little bit here. Ah, what's that for? For me... Purple? For me grass so I'll put a bit of a line clean my brush and go in with a bit of water just to soften so we still want the glow to stay there but we want to add to it so it feels like land and not water but we want the glow we could um, which I think I didn't do in the other one if I make a really, really watery purple, then with a dry brush, just create a little bit of flicking up so it feels like there's grass there. But this is the same purple, just with so much water. got the the tree sort of sits on a mound so we'll be putting that in later but it's just just to give a bit of texture in this foreground bit not at the very front because we know that there's grass and stuff going there always oh, need time for coffee that's good isn't it Hour has flown by already, nearly. Christopher's working at Helios now. No, is he? Yeah. Thank <coughs> you. What, in the garden bit? No, in my cafe. Oh, with you? No. <laughs> okay. He's at weekend. Do they make sure they, you don't have the they same shift? They don't let it go. Really? They had him, they came, he came on the, uh, his first shift and worked with me so I could show my stuff wasn't. Oh, that's good. Well, yeah. that's nice. I iced his first cake today, didn't he? He said, photograph. Oh. I just laughed at him. He was very happy. I wanted, I wanted to go, actually, if he did it like this, it would look better, but I didn't. I just, I just said, you've cut the cake really well. That's it. He'll find the right way soon. Right, so, 
The next bit is a bit more blue. Oh, not that much. I've gone, I'm really going for the blue. Like the blue. I do. I think the blue likes me rather than the other way around. Right, so a bit more blue, a tiny bit of red. So it's the other way around now. <laughs> Is it that blue? Well, it might be with a bit of water. But I, we could try it. Let's, yes, we're going to do it. Even if it wasn't Grace, we are now. So I'll go in with this bluey purple to create more. And blend that in. So it's, it's, it's more to the blue than the purple, but it's the wateriness that's crucial. Rise a little bit up here, yes. Because you want a bit of the sky to show through, especially in the the upper parts of the tree. And then you can make it a little bit darker at the base. And you can even soften the bottom of the trees into the ground at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the tree's going to be black, so that will that will stand out in front of it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So that's what that's the plan. But then, as I get further across towards the right hand side, it's slightly stronger. So less water. Oh, and there's a nice fir tree thing there, isn't there? If I draw a stick down like that. It's a fir tree. Like a Douglas fir, is it? No, is that the, I don't know. Yeah, because that's like your trunky bit, isn't it? So we can add that. That'll add a bit of intrigue. I like a little bit of intrigue, don't we? Mm. Who doesn't? I can't work out if this is Mantovani or um, oh, Akabilk. Maybe. maybe a bit of crossover. Man Mantabilk <laughs> or an Akavani. <laughs> Pretty colours, isn't it? Which I think work really nicely. So is, she, is Linda holidaying in Keris or just yeah. repairing and... Yeah, she'll be having a holiday. I can think. She might have to put the bath up there, might she? It's such a lovely place. I don't think we're going to get there this year. It's before. It's probably both. Yeah, yeah, she said, she said that. It's amazing. But it's, it's such a... A lovely location. It's perfect for all sorts of people, isn't it? So train watchers, dog walkers, hikers. Um, well, people just want to escape because yeah. it, you know, it, you, you you're not totally isolated, but you can be if you want to. You know what I mean? And it's a nice, spacious place. 
gorgeous. I've deliberately not done that big tree here yet because we're going to go with a slightly darker colour, but don't need to worry about that yet. I'm going to go and put the kettle on. And it all changes when the tree goes on because the tree's so black, that's what will make the glow glow even more. So the light is leaching away slowly. Yeah, that's a beautiful that's the only tree. tree that I like. <laughs> that is a really beautiful tree. <laughs> Thank you. But when you think about it, the big black tree no is going to go right through that. I know. So that I've, so I've done all that way too high. No, no, no. It doesn't matter because that black tree will go in the middle of it. Yeah. And cover up that. And they look all right. They still look like leaves. Yeah, it's this bit that's. Just and and that'll be hidden. We'll hide them. Yeah. So it's look, fine. Look. I guess I, I've i actually figured out how to do that. That yeah, was fine. By the time you get to the end, we'll yeah. know we're going to yeah. the next time we come. If we'll we just gotten... cut that there. But we can do that. Can do <laughs> yes. <laughs> just take out that tree. That's fine. That that one went well. Well, you could actually blow that up and have just that as a little picture. You could. Yeah. But when you put your big black tree in there. You see, that's, that's, that is the thing, and I've said this to students for a long time, that when you do a full painting... It doesn't actually mean that that whole painting is going to be any good. But there will be elements in that whole painting that are really amazing. So just cut them out and use them. Well, cut that bit out. And, no, yeah, so you've got, you know, you've got, you can get frames, you, can have you know, five by sevens or whatever. So you, sometimes you in one painting I've been able to get two or three smaller paintings mm. that are better than the whole one whole that was picture. Yeah. But I've got three. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah. many three. <laughs> Your From the tea. trunk. This case, coffee, please. Coffee. Tea. Tea. But still yeah, do it. Whole picture. Water. So coffee. Jess? Uh, oh, do you have like squash or something? Um, or water or? No, I can do water. Yeah, that's fine. I can do water. So water, water, tea, tea. coffee, tea, coffee, tea. Huh? <laughs> did you, did you, how did you set this down? Like well, I, well, I remember. Yeah. No, because uh, I'll, I'll put the, I put the glasses put out. I put the glass, the, the mugs out in, in, the, in, this, in, the, in okay. the arrangement in of the, the class. Of so I know who has um, what. That's a good way of doing it. <laughs> yes, because then when you come back in, you know who it's for. Well, I just did three coffees and three teas. I don't know who it is. Tongue. Tell a host. 
Pardon? The song is this time first. And it's Jupiter. My tree is a bit upright. And I've got no definition in my uh, blurriness. This is wet. Yeah, if I could just take out that bit, because that's not too bad. No, I think you'll cover a lot of it up with your tree. Yeah. This this bit is looks good against your sun because your sun's glowing behind it. Yeah. Mine, mine isn't working. I like the way yours is spun around though. Yes, it is. Looks like a sun. That's nice. My, I think my trees there are not blurry enough. I think they should be blurrier. I know. That's what I keep thinking with mine. You just added more shadow behind. Yeah, that's, that's what I did it on purpose for. Yeah. I was loving So your mummy's okay. Is your dad there? Uh, dad might be doing cricket something or other today. Guess oh. I also don't think. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing some drawing now, look. It's just an apple. Yeah. Yes. I was going to love that picture. Yeah. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Are you okay, Paul? There's other people watching, isn't there? Okay. It's just Paul at the moment. You think? They won't feel left out. Oh, look. I'm making an it's apple. It's like you're just an apple. I'm making an apple. And look at the leaf. Nice leaf. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm really proud of that leaf. Now, I'm going to be awkward, and I like it. That way. That's not an apple though. No. <laughs> what even would that be? There's a, 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 a star fruit. A star fruit? Well, it's the first time I've ever done something flat. <coughs> so uh, are you then also going to sew the points up whilst it's inside out and just leave a gap? Yes, but there. from the pictures that I've looked at, you're supposed to. So when. So you sew it like that, yes. up, and mm. then stuff it, uh, and then oops. the points, it's saying that you sew them more flat, and then the top better? one, because it's an apple, you're supposed to dimple it in. Dimple it, yeah. I would try sewing them up like they were totally joined. That's what I would normally do. And then just leave the gap there. And then when you turn it inside out, they'll be joined together like that. So you say you think I can dimple them before? And the other way you could dimple them if it didn't dimple enough is you could sew some sew something to the edge, take them all the way through. That's what it so, so it shows me on the picture. That's what it shows me on the picture. But I think it'll be trickier because you'd see the stitches, wouldn't you? Like but that. then you've got the stalk to go on top. <coughs> okay. Stalk and the leaf, which will cover it up. Something. This is something arty that I'm, you know, I can, I can do yes, reasonably. Thank, thank you. Uh, what's yours saying? Thank you, darling. Is that too? No, I like it. it. I, mean, I thought you liked it, strong. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
brown felt fur. Well, it's not even really brown, but it will do as brown. Ah, some Maybe the stalk and the Yeah, that's these lovely biscuits from Grace. Thank you, Grace. You still have them? Yeah. Do you only bring them out on a Sunday or they yes. been gone? Yeah. They were for you to share with anybody. It didn't have to just be a Sunday, but I'm really happy. <laughs> you don't want to take two, really? Give me one of those. On. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't being greedy. Yeah, yeah, Miriam, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we can go with. Go with. Go with. If you've still got some of that bluey purple colour. And we're going to add a bit of Payne's Grey to that, yeah. So it will. Because Payne's Grey is quite blue. Well, I can't my thing's kind of ended before I don't know. What colour would you have, sorry? So the, the bluey purple, if you've still got any on your tile, with a bit of Payne's Grey. <laughs> that that black the yeah, black no, colour. Yeah, well, but yes. Oh yes, very similar. That's why I don't give them out in glass jar, yeah. you know, in glasses because it does look too similar to your water. That said, usually there's at least when I collect the mugs up to wash up after most glasses, there's a couple that are usually covered with paint down the side. <laughs> Sometimes inside. So this is darker and then I'm going to blend that in. Alexander's Ragtime Band. They've cancelled the uh, St George's Day in London. Have Already. they? <laughs> and Cardiff School is, won't let us go and practice there. What, even if there's nobody in the school? Yeah, they won't let any groups go and use their horse. Take their children. <coughs> okay. No, 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 no. So where are you practising or are you not practising? Well, it's only just come to light, so they were talking about spice ball, but we practice at night, so that's not a lot of good, is it? Um, they're talking about the uh, Middleton Machine, the Scout Club, might. Do they charge you? We, we pay to, to practice there. Um, what about the Scout Hut? Um, Family School? Just there? There's a Scout Hut just the other side of um, uh, the Three Pigeons. Is there? Is there? Is there? Mm. Know you know Cooper's Gate, bit. where all the little flats are? Yeah. Along upside there, there's a Scout Hut. Family it's School the, have got a it, Scout Hut as well. There's loads of probably scout huts. It's whether they'll also say yeah. we're not around. But I don't get it if the kids are the ones that are safest. Are safest. 
And in my gig on Tuesday, God's one has been cancelled because they're, yeah. ca they're, they're, they're not allowing anybody no. Birch, uh, other than staff. Birchester have all closed their uh, doors and High Market have said don't come if you've got any symptoms, but we're just not going to go. Rodney's going to phone Granny upstairs. It's not worth it. Granny. They're the most vulnerable people, so they should really do a, a lot for that, especially if the government's saying people in their own homes should try and isolate if they're old. Then a care home's got to... Yeah. Got to close. Well, they're, 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 they're the ones, ones that should really, aren't they? And then, oh, no, and, this, and you're the immune suppressants and diabetics. Yeah, I, th yeah. I think, I think. People with like cancer and stuff and. Anybody that's vulnerable should try and keep away from them. I have to be careful my neighbour because she's got um, arthritis, which is an immune suppressant disease. She usually has coughs and colds as well. So. It's knowing at what point to do that though, isn't it? Because you don't want to isolate for so long. Her that you... Yeah. Well, her, her, she's got grown-up kids, so probably they'll keep the grandkids away. Just, just don't. Yeah, it's, it's, tr it's tricky because you don't want them to die, but you don't want them to be lonely. No. So it's better that they're lonely Well, she's got carers that go in every day anyway, so she's not going to be completely isolated. Oh, I nearly put that in my drink. <laughs> It is sometimes difficult to know what to do for the best because if you've got people who are older who are isolating and they haven't got an online shopping account because they go to town. They can still, they can still, they're not closing the shops. Yet. Yet. Yeah, but I won't do the food shops. The thing is no, there like, are some food, food shops that they won't close, but then and it's... And they'll probably stop home deliveries as well. No, because they're safer, because they leave the same... Yeah, well, what, the what they've there. started doing, I've noticed, is people are, you know, are, are pushing things through the letterbox. I've seen it shared on social media a lot, where it's like, if you're self-isolating, I can help you with either food shopping or this or that, and I will leave it on your doorstep. Just tell me what you need. Mm. There was someone... Yes, if I have to do that to my mum, I'll have to do the online shopping for her. Hmm. Because she doesn't know how to... Well, a lot of waitros, for yes, example, you can I think. Yeah, she's in Portugal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'd have to be on the phone with her. Mum, what do you need? Well, I'm on the online account. Yeah. So she hasn't got an internet at all, so she couldn't send you a list? No. You just assume what she wants and send it. <laughs> she kills me. Yeah, 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 she and I forgot to buy my courgettes, so I had to go to the local shop to buy courgettes because I was just so amazed that it just went off. Well, I think Waitrose have stopped opening accounts for new accounts online. So they can't order it. So you can't order online. So I, th I think that's a bit... They should be doing the opposite, really. They should be offering free online accounts for all the over 70s. Rodney went on to a You know, cargo. just to... Because you've got to make it easy for people. Rodney hasn't got any white wine left. He said, what are we going to do if we have to self isolate? We've got no white wine left. So he went on to a car, though. Um, and their time slots, you couldn't get a time slot till next week, and they've put the prices up. Mm. So you can't order. Well, a car is more expensive anyway, so. Yes, but they put it up as well. Yeah. It's it's frustrating because you've got some people that will try profiteering off, off everybody's yeah. misfortune. There, which... there was a child sent home from school because he was selling uh, so a hand squirt, squirt of hand sacking. Yeah, it's charging. For 50p. And he'd made like eight, eight, nine pounds. And well, caught him and sent him home. I think that's that's um, <laughs> entrepreneurial, oh, really, to be honest. <laughs> His mum told him off, and his dad phoned him up and told him he, he was a legend, yeah. didn't he? <laughs> <they? laughs> well, I think I think you know, in desperate times, it is almost like you got. It'll be wartime yes, with the spins. Well, it'll be it'll be, you it'll be oh two ply three ply. Eco. Well, they're saying that the the um, hand sanitizer sh place, the factory that's in Banbury. Oh, clean all, yeah. Yeah, selling um, you know, people are buying it and then selling it, and it's going for more than apparently it was on the BBC News going for more than cocaine at the moment on the street. So I was like, you know, but what I find ironic like, is that there are shelves of bars of soap. Yeah. Which are more effective. When, exactly. I, when, when Savers sold out of hand sanitizer, there was still all the Nivea, you know, or Imperial Leather Soap, which I, I, I use the Imperial Leather Soap, six for the price of four. 
Well, hand sanitizer isn't as effective as. It soap. isn't. Hand sanitizer yeah. only works if your hands are already clean. Yeah. It's, it's uh, good if you're out vodka's out better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the, the next thing that they'll. That would be the next thing that they'll run out of. Yeah. Preserve yourself from the inside. <laughs> Co-worker at work was next to a hand basin with soap and would have got your hand sanitizer on instead of washing their hands after what you're doing. Just use the soap. Just use the hand basin yeah. and the soap. And when we've got hand, hand sanitizer, sanitizer here, I use it after I wash my hands and I'm coming back. But not yeah. all hand sanitizer has the alcohol in it, so you have to check that it's got the alcohol base. Yeah. I've got, effectively, I bought from Portugal, I've got peroxide and alcohol, medical, medical alcohol at home. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to have a go at this tree now. Somebody was saying what they're going to do about babies. Baby Just white. using black. Just yeah. Black. Oh. So this is... <laughs> what what kind of of this is just your Payne's grey or your black. On its own. On its own. Quite a mm -hmm. bit of water because this is going to be the big tree. On its own. Yeah. And I'll just paint the trunk. This is the scary bit. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen Ooh, that better. Yeah, it is a it is a blue black. Yeah, that's the one. They actually make paint grey from Mars Black and Ultramarine. Oh. So some paints grows you buy are almost blue, like indigo, because they've got too much ultramarine. What, what I'm doing is I'm just doing the trunk for now. The base bit, flicking it out. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add a bit of water and let it fade out. So you're putting right in the middle of your... Yeah, I don't normally like things in the middle, but the tree is the focal point, so that's fine. Now, I've seen some shops that are um, saying they're cash only now because they don't want to um, oh, don't infect want the staff. I don't want to I've heard ca card only, yeah. Card only. No, that's what I mean, card only. Oh. But but then the staff are having to deal with other stuff with customers. So if they're going to have gloves for that, then they might as well have gloves for the other. But I think cash is dirty anyway. Yeah. yeah. I always wash my hands, especially when you get some people that rummage in their trousers for the change. I hate that. So we've um, always got the hand sanitizer near the till. I think I put the tree a bit high. So I'm, oh, I've spattered. Just a few little flicks that are fading into the. grass like that. I'm probably going to use two different sizes of round brush for this tree Trees are funny because you put the trunk on the size that you think you need. And then actually, as you start adding the branches, you realise that you need to make the trunk a little bit thicker. So I'm using a thicker brush to, <coughs> excuse me, mark, mark, mark out the main sizes of the branch. Then I use a thinner brush to do the, the more fiddly bits of the branches. So this one comes... So the blacker you can get this, the better your painting will look in terms of contrast. But this is the scary bit. But it doesn't have to look exactly like this tree though, does it? You see, that's the thing. It can look like a tree, a dead tree.
and hopefully you'll find that your glow starts to glow a little bit. So yeah, it'll be um, thinner brushes for the rest of this. If you can brush outwards, it will give you a thinner line than if you brush inwards. Because you'll naturally Take pressure away the further out you go. Roll your brush around in the wet paint as well and that will give you a much more fluid, loaded brush. Concentration time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Just had to look up to check you were all there. <laughs> So the darker you can have this tree, the better. Um, it will dry lighter, but um, 
you can always put a second coat over the top because we don't have to worry about it looking three dimensional really because it's in full silhouette so you can just play around more with the actual shapes of the tree Coffee. Oh, it's all wrong. So you drunk it all. I love a nice dead tree. My favourite. They are. Mm. I like them because you haven't got you've got the drama of a tree and the structure, but you haven't got all the really fiddly bits that everybody struggles with. You know, the really fine branches. It's the colours. Yeah. I am. Um, when you see them, they're just so many different colours. I like a nice lightning struck tree as well. They're nice. Very few and far between, but they're beautiful. I do just like trees, to be fair. Are they birds on the tips of those trees? I think there are birds in there, but I don't know if I... I didn't put any in the other one, but I don't know if I will in this one. Not I'm do you sure reckon, Blaze? I quite like them. But it'd be tricky. I might add them on the Photoshop. <laughs> well, you could add them with a bit of black pen, maybe. Yeah, so you've got a little bit more control. all the little knobbly bits on the branches as well so you don't have them all beautifully smooth
use a really watery version of the grey just to fill in around the tree and a bit further back and down. So there's not a lot of colour, but it's just filling that mid ground in, ready for when we put the dark bits on. So it's just a really pale wash with a big brush. softening the bits where it meets <coughs> so you've not got any hard lines that'll do okay. and the foreground grasses will really make it work but there's loads of time so don't feel you've got a rush the tree is the focus so spend your time really Creating a nice haunting tree. Okay. Hmm? Are you alright? I'm alright, yeah. I'll do. Imagine how peaceful that would be to go walking about at that time of morning, you know. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? Mm. And it's in full foliage, so it's not winter. So it wouldn't be a cold... It's only the dead tree that's got no leaves on, isn't no. it? So yeah. it's not a cold day. It's like an early... Early... Mid, um, like early summer, maybe. Which is lovely. Because they're still advocating that, even with people in isolate, well, sort of trying to self-isolate, they're saying to go for walks in the oh, countryside because yes. you're not going to see anybody. It's touch screens and things like that, and the door handles. And... Yeah. I, I try as soon... I, I anti-back and wipe all of the door handles and handrails in this building every day. I anti-back all of... I know it's not a bacterial infection, but it will stop something. Um... It cleans it nonetheless, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So, and I, in between classes, as soon as the class empties, I get the dettol out and I spray all of the tables and all of the backs of chairs uh, ready for the next class. Um, so it's not just once a day, I do it between classes now just to try and keep on top of it. Because coronavirus aside, I have a lot of students that have underlying health issues. So, like, see, I've got several with COPD or bronchiectasis and all of this kind of stuff. So... You've got to try. I've got to preserve you all, haven't I? Really? I won't have, anybody... I won't have any customers or students if I kill you all. <laughs> so where did you put the bit of black? I did it as a really runny wash over the whole of this bit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Just so when we put the grasses on in the foreground, it's not as um, contrasting, you know? Mm -hmm. Did you use this brush? Yeah. What do you think of that brush, Alison? It's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's it's quite pricey to start with, but how much did it cost? I, I think about twenty quid. Really? Last um, so but long. it's they. I mean, as you can see, mine's mine's going strong still, after a year of four paintings, five paintings a week. That's um, three hundred or four hundred paintings. Well, yeah, exactly. So it it you do get and, and it's the amount of paint it holds, and it encourages you to make the paint more watery which is what people struggle with. Yes. But for the brush to work, it's got to have a lot of moisture in there. So it is it is a nice brush um, to use. Oh, very much. Oh, a brush roll. <laughs> it didn't, so... Phew. I might, I might stick a bird in. I don't know if I it'll make it... I'd stick a bird if I had done that. <laughs> a big red kite flying through the sky or a buzzard. I had to go to an art group in Whitney a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Whitney. And um, I had to be there for 10 in the morning and there was a big accident on the motorway and all the major roads to Whitney were chock-a-block. The motorway was closed. So my sat-nav... you have to go to? So the sat-nav set... Which part of Whitney, did you say? Yeah, yeah what's uh, in Whitney? Um, right in the high street, there was a, there's a church that does... A, it's like a community centre church right oh, in the, the middle. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've been there before and I didn't realise until I got there. But the sat-nav sent me from Wardington all the way through Banbury and then up past Broughton Castle and what? then down. What? It was amazing, actually, because of all the roadworks. Yeah, he sent me in the opposite direction, but I got there quicker than I would be if I was sitting yeah, in yeah. all the traffic. So it Where said... Did you go when you got to Banbury? Um, Broughton and then through past Soho Farmhouse and yeah. Charlbury. That, it's a very windy way. It is, but do you know what? I got Classic <laughs> FM on. The sun was out. It was one of the few days we hadn't had rain. It was an early morning sun because it was like half past eight, nine o'clock. So oh, everything was glowing. Well. Um, the landscapes were beautiful. I saw five cars until I got to Whitney. It was, <laughs> oh, it wow. was, it was, a, and, and for me, because I always get anxious about giving demos and, and stuff. So for me, it was so lovely to just turn up at Whitney, relaxed, relaxed rather than sitting, holding onto my steering wheel, going, I'm not going to get there, I'm going to be late. <laughs> I wasn't late. The sat-nav kept... It's wonderful, actually. I use Google Google Maps as a sat-nav on my I've phone. Got a, I've got a program called Navigator, which doesn't use your data. No. <coughs> and it's free. Yeah. And... Um, gets me where I want to yep. quite quickly and when it doesn't use up my data because it's just because yeah. you use your GPS but the only thing is it does kind of try and get you back to where you don't want to go sometimes yeah. if there's an accident now Google Maps is, is amazing because it uses Google traffic mm -hmm. as the system so it, it um, will you say you see someone do it and they, and they cause problems on Google Maps and then it's no. Did you see that one? Yeah. Uh, was it no, no mobile phones and they didn't like it? Someone had put on a, you know the kids' trolleys? Yeah. They put at least 30 or 40 mobile phones, active mobile phones, so that said it was a congestion and the road was completely clear. No, it's all done on your mobile phones. So if you had it with hikers walking, like 100 hikers. Yeah, it would look like it. For a picnic. Yeah. It looked like there was a major hold up on that road. Yeah, so but I think it's. That they should use a different method yeah, of checking. Yeah, but traffic. it's useful because it will say this route is four minutes faster or this route is two minutes slower, and you can tap which route you want to go on. Which I, I, I. The one I've for got, a free I can app, choose. I can choose not to go on toll roads. I can choose not to go on the motorway. Yeah. It's, my sister found it quite useful. Which, uh, then you can download whichever country you want to go. So if you're going on holiday, you can yeah. just download the country you want oh, to go to. Oh, that's good. See, Whitney's our neck of the woods. That's our nearest. Oh, is it? It's a, not, it's a little art group that meets there every Tuesday morning. Oh, right. Um, they used to have a tutor, but she passed away, I think. Um, and now they just do their own thing, and occasionally they get speakers in. Um, I think I was there... <coughs> no. I was their second speaker that they've had, um, and I did acrylics with them or something. They asked me, because they're largely acrylically-based, more dabblers than painters, you know. And that meets in the method. But I used to, I, and I'd forgotten, when I pulled up, I thought, oh, I've been here. I used to, I gave lectures in art history there um, on evenings years and years ago. And I just thought, oh, this is perfect. So I even knew where I was going, where to park. Couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> so it was a nice, um, a nice atmosphere. There's about 15, 20 in the group. So you're more, you're more Whitney way? Yeah, it's Whitney's about seven miles from us. Oh, really? We're right in the middle. Between Chippy Norton and Woodstock. Seven miles each way, yeah. So you're near Blenheim and all of that nice stuff. Mm. Nice. <coughs> we used to have. about that where you want to go to the ruins at Minster Level. Oh, they're really nice. Ruin, what ruins of the, what? There's a ruined um, manor. There's a manor hall there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. Wow. Wow. You just find the river. Oh, I'll have to go there, take some photos. Because I want to go to, there's a place between here and Oxford on near the railway called Hampton Gay. Mm. And that's a ruin. And it's an old Elizabethan E-shaped manor. And apparently, even though it's been bought several times, it's never been rebuilt because there's a curse on it. Yeah. And apparently the curse happened where there was a railway accident and the manor, the lord of the manor refused to let the staff go and help the people from the railway down the road. So apparently there's been a curse on it ever since, in the, since the Victorian ages. So it's just a ruined abbey. You can see it on the train, actually. There's a church and this ruined abbey at Hampton Gay. I like ruins. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lovely ruined priory in Dudley, and it's actually part of the registry office. So, um, you know, when people get married, they can climb the outside the ruins of the spiral stone staircase to have photographs done and all of that. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I remember once on Facebook someone posted a photographer had gone to 
photograph all these ruined places. It was all over the world, but some of them were just absolutely, even though nature had literally taken over, it actually yeah. made it more beautiful. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. I do love a good ruin. And it's quite fun to be fair, and it's just... And how close can you go to it? Oh, you can walk around it. You can walk around it, yeah. Ooh. That's where Chris and I had our engagement photos. Oh, yes. That, that black will make a nice cloud. Mince to level. Oh, thank you. The sound of that. It's literally like five minutes from Whitney, not even that. Really? So I'm not, I, could, I, could, I went the back way, like I just went. What there. you need to do is go through Cholbury, yeah. towards Whitney, yeah. and then there's, um, did you see the pub called The Bird in Hand on the left? Yes. Just past there, turn right, go along to the end of the road, turn right and then turn left and that'll take you to Whitney. Ooh. Because I never realised what Soho Farmhouse was. I thought, why? What's all this special advertising for where the deliveries are? It's that really fancy place, isn't yeah, it? Where, where Posh and Bex go. And, yeah. That's they why I would never there. heard of it. They live near there. Mm. Yes, I'm not a very pretentious person, you see, mm. so I don't think I'd fit in well. I, no. I, I treat everybody the same. I, don't, I mean, I've had students who are, who are titled like ladies. And I treat really? them exactly the same as I treat somebody that lives in a council house or lives on a narrow boat. I'm I'm just who I am, and I'm polite. Obviously, I'm not rude, but I'm not I'm not I'm not a sycophant and I'm not a brown noser. I I can't do I just can't do it because we're all the same, really. Yeah. And we can't yeah. we can't I'm we can't help who we're born. You know we all what came family? Into this world the same and we'll all go out the same. Absolutely. Exactly. No matter what money you've got. Absolutely, because you can't you can't control. Who gives birth to you? You know what I mean. When you're arriving, whether you arrive in poverty or wealth, that's not that's nothing to do with you, is it? It's just circumstance. And I think um, I think sometimes we have to remember that. That's a bit profound for a Sunday morning. Isn't it? My parents always used to say that I should treat the road sweeper the same as I would a CEO yeah. or a titled person because they would deserve just as much. Respect. They do, and sometimes they you know when I used to work in schools, I was I, I used to have close relationships with the caretakers, the cleaners the dinner ladies, because yeah. actually if you needed more favours done and more help, they're the ones that will drop everything to do it. And actually I read a story once and I thought well, that's a lesson in life. A guy worked in a factory, <coughs> with a factory um, supervisor, really level person, but he used to say every morning to the security guard, every evening, hello, how are you, how's your family, blah, blah. But he wasn't like just normal work, he was quite middle, what they call middle management. Mm. And then one day, the guard saw him go in, but didn't see him come out. So he thought, it's strange, it's like over an hour since he's supposed to have left. So he literally went and looked for him. He had accidentally locked himself in the freezer. <gasps> if he hadn't every morning and every evening said hello mm. to that guard, and the guard remembered him going in and out, he would have died. Yes. So the fact that he was just... Yeah. Everybody, everybody used to say, oh, why do you speak to the guard, you know, like... Why you pay so much attention to the guard kind of Yeah. Attitude? Well, he didn't do it. He didn't do it so you rescue him. He didn't <coughs> no, he didn't it was just nice. being nice. Absolutely. He was, absolutely. That he yeah. was doing a nice thing. They've got him rescued. Yeah. <laughs> this is. I. I mean, I've worked in some schools where the the nursery nurses refuse to sit with the TAs <laughs> because <laughs> because the nursery nurses are better than TAs. They've had one more exam. I remember the one time I was working in, a, in tourism and I because I worked in reception. I was on the phone, I had to go before the receptionists because they had to take over for me yeah. while I was at lunch. So I just had to go quite early. And I remember the one time I just sat with the gardeners. Yeah. They turned down their language because obviously they were just men. Yeah. But they were they weren't rude to me, they were nice to me. Do you want to sit with us? Yeah. You know, because there was no tables to sit at. And then when I got back to it, says, why were you eating with the gardeners and talking to them? So I'm like, well, they were nice to me, so why shouldn't I eat with them and talk with them? It was just the fact that they're being mm, snobbish about I know. it. I know. You I... see, in, in Chinese society, every single member of the population is valued for what they contribute to society, isn't it? The bin man is just as important as the teacher, as yeah. the judge, as the cleaner, because without them, you don't function. And I think I think we, we kind of lose that because we are a bit of ourselves at times. <laughs> So we want nice grassy bits here, but if you, if I show you the that one, I've I've done like little seed heady bits and 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 flicky bits just because it it adds. But I don't want it flat, so we don't want a flat bit of a strip of land. 
make it slightly undulating. I'm using the big brush just to get the colour on. I need more black. I use a bit of mine, Jess, because I've got loads in there. Just shove your okay. brush in there. Shove your brush in. It's a technical I'm term. I'm so pissed about that you've been shoving your brush in. Barry's black. <laughs> oh, wow, black. So you're literally yeah. just painting the bottom. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Painting your bottom black. Yeah. Not painting the roses red. Because then... Ooh, this is exciting. That's, that was just fun. I like that. That's the best bit of my painting. What, the black bit at the bottom? The black bit at the bottom. Right, and then I'm going to use a smaller brush to do all of the grass. It's long, you see, so it's grass. Grass. A bit calypso. <laughs> it goes on and on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Some people are quite depressing. Because when I'm at work, I don't hear it. So the longer it goes on, the more chance. Is it an alarm or a ring? A phone. A, a ring. That's phone. A, message. a ring. Guess what my ringtone is, Grace. Uh, is it something like Frank Sinatra or. No. The, the three ladies. No. Uh, I don't know. Open all hours theme. Oh. Because <laughs> I get called off right a lot. Hours. Yeah. When you're painting grass, it's really difficult to get your grass, each blade to look like a blade. You know, you find that all of them start to lean the same way or bend in the same direction. So you've almost got to remember to yeah. force yourself to make some a bit longer, some a bit shorter, some a bit bendy in the other direction. Or if they're all going in the same direction, make some seed heads. Throw in a few little leafy shapes at the base so it feels like they might be, um, I don't know, dandelions or dock leaves or something in amongst it. Do some short bits, do some long bits, but don't do long bit, short bit, long bit, short bit because it will um, it'll look too uniform. So it's a lot to, to do with the, the foreground. Because foregrounds are generally the hardest thing, I think, in a picture. Because there's usually quite a lot of it. You want a hairdryer, you got it? I do like that nothing but footprint shop. If you've not been in, go. Because yeah, I mean they do um, all. Na everything's natural in there, and all recyclable or reusable or refillable deodorants. Um, they've got washing up liquid, hand soap, uh, food, um, biodegradable. Yeah, measure it for you, and then you put it in your 
I think so. Oh. Or they've got jars that, that like decant to a certain amount. Oh, so, okay. or they have got glass jars there that you can take and, and fill and then bring back next time. It does look really good. Um, um, so it's like coconut times. matted bags and you know, and it's not ridiculously expensive for what it is. It is Evans, isn't it? Is it Evans? No, but she follows the shop on Facebook and she always shares all the things that we do. Does she, she work at your place? No? Yeah. In your cafe or in the garden no, centre? garden centre. I was, I was saying to something to her and she sent me a link about using shampoo bars. Yeah, I use shampoo bars all the time. They're brilliant. You can buy some now, and I saw them yesterday in the in in that eco shop. They do shampoo and conditioner bars all in one go. But I use I use bars of soap for shampoo, for shaving. For... Lush also do them as well, don't they? They're really, you know, they're nice. They, but they last such a long time. I'm a bit uh, if I'm toothpaste and shampoo. I'm a bit allergic. I don't know what it is in them, but I do. Oh, well, what they have is they have toothpaste, little, the tiny little pills, and you chomple on them. Yeah. And then you just brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. And it's um, got fluoride in them. I uh, don't use fluoride, and I use aloe dent, and the dentist was a bit cross with me for not using fluoride. Because no, we don't have fluoride in our water in Oxfordshire. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Um, but they do toothpaste. They do all sorts of stuff. They're... I've, I'm trying their natural deodorant in glass jars, and you just um. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. 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 That's got. I think it's got baking soda in it. I think that's yeah, the, one I'll, of the main I'll ingredients. Yeah, I buy some from. They're a local company as well, but they obviously buy from other people. It's called the Happy Hair Company. No, oh, yeah. Hair as in a rabbit hair. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> cool. Not hair as in hair on your head. Uh, hair on your head. <laughs> but no, they. I think there's a lot of people trying their hardest to do their bit to be more sustainable, which is nice. Mm. We've got to do something, haven't we? Yeah. That's why I started having my veg box delivered because that's all in eco recyclable or biodegradable stuff. And they've started doing a thing for ten pound a year where they give you containers, and then you re you know you put your empty ones back out, and then they'll refill okay. it, and then you know. So they're all you know a lot of the companies are trying now to come up with innovative ways. M and S are doing. Um, they've got the um, not in ours at the moment, but um, they're looking at doing it across the whole country where you the refilling thing. almost like pick and mix we, we've started doing paint refills for acrylics which hasn't taken off wonderfully well but other art shops have started to copy our lead which is good there's somebody on facebook which had a party pack that you could just borrow so if you were having a kids party you just borrow this this 30 setting of kids plastic plates and then give it back yeah so I think you know with a lot of things, even with the like good de good quality disposable plastic cups and cutlery, they're not really single use. You can use them more than once if you if you wash them up well. well. We've got we've got the set, haven't we? Let you yeah. your barbecue. We've had them years. Yeah. And you just reuse them, don't you? The reason people went to, it was laziness. They just threw away the the stuff instead but of washing it up. stuff away by the paper ones. Yeah. Because it's biodegradable. It's natural. <coughs> Yeah, it's um, it's it's really nice to see how many people are. I mean, I when I went into the the eco shop yesterday, it was heaving. Absolutely heaving. Where is the shop going? Just as you go in Castle Quay. So if you, as you enter in on the left hand side, it's about four shops down, and it's called Nothing But Footprints. It's where Holland and Barrett used to be. Over. Yeah, so it's this end, rather than um, further into the delves of it. And they've they've signed up for two years there to see how it goes. 
which is brilliant because they used to be on the market but obviously um having your own base means that you can keep stuff out and you know keep adding really because they they didn't have they've literally got a whole wall now of of muesli porridge pasta different types of pasta that you can refill that that's new that wasn't there until this week See, when this dries, I might do more grassy flicks in this bit because it will dry a bit lighter, won't it? So I'm just pacing myself. I think I've got too much at the bottom here now. I'm mm -hmm. myself. <laughs> oh, no. foreground when it dries because it dries lighter if, even if I put the same colour over the top it'll be slightly darker I've got a few light patches that I can add some grass to it's a nice painting though isn't it and it's not it's not overly stressy is it you know the stressy bit was dyed yeah I want them to look lovely and they never yeah. quite, quite look as wonderful as and it's And it's one that you've got to do quite quickly, isn't it? And Which I don't is... like my glow because I added to it and made a harsh line. Ah, uh, like yeah. Thing. So instead of being soft, I can soften that though, can't I? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can either soften it with chalk or just soften it with a clean water and a clean damp brush. Ooh, that happened naturally though, that's in the yeah, dimple by my staple. It, but it just adds an extra bit of depth. So it shows it's not all flat. So even in places where it is a little bit darker, you can still put this in and it just creates a little bit more of a layer. I like that. You see, you can't see those bushes at all now behind no. you, but you can see enough to know that they're bushes, yeah. which is perfect. So you can say you're meant to do that. Exactly. I got the very first one I did on display at home. Oh, have you? Oh, that's yeah. good. Not last time as well. That was uh, that one. Uh, that was a bit bad, wasn't it? The bluebell one. Yeah. No, no, no. I got the bluebell one that's at home. The, the one that I did. Like yeah. How many have you done now? About three. Yeah. This is my third. Yeah, because it looked like mountains, didn't it, my trees last time? I mean, they've kind of gone that way today, but there's a bit of, you know, there's... No, you can tell it's very but I think as you've got further into doing them, you know, as you've got further along the picture, your trees have got better and better and yeah. better. But you've just got to remember how to do that for the next time yeah. more than anything.
Yeah, because it was about spacing it out, whereas I was just yeah. filling it all in. And I was like, yeah. yeah, sometimes you need the gaps to go in between the foliage and. and yeah. Oh, what you can do, you can, you can, if you wet that. Yeah, you do I'm not going to do anything else. Because as your water's yeah, getting darker, it's harder to get a clean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done one, I'm a I bit too scared. The trouble is, is if you do it, you can't get rid no, of it. Gone. You'd have to turn it into a branch, I suppose. Or... Yeah, yeah. So it'd yeah. Be better you'd have to, to put it somewhere. I tried to do a bird and it didn't work, so it's a branch. Yeah. Where's your glass of water? <laughs> I wanted some clean water. I don't think I can do any more to this because it is all. Done. But it's a, it's a nice little picture, isn't it? And it's actually one that you could do at home in different colours. You could do a nice autumnal one in, in yeah. reds and yellows and browns in, and, and keep it almost exactly the same, but change the sky and change the background tree colour. You could do a winter one where you, like you say, change the background tree, yeah. the background <laughs> colour, but add no, like white no, and grey bits. No. Yes, absolutely. No, 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 it's quite, quite a useful <coughs> one. That's lovely. Yeah, we finished a bit earlier today, I but it's a nice little... I just take that one home and say that I did that one. Yeah, <laughs> I've signed it, Jess. Damn Sorry. It. <laughs> that one then, I'll take that one. one. You, you've got one already. You can buy that for a buy <laughs> And if I um if I borrow yours and put them under here, then Paul can see what everybody's done as well, which is nice. And that's that's lovely, Grace. Right, Sorry. let's put yours on. Oh, nobody can tell the difference. Look at that! Isn't that lovely? That's Grace's. That's, really good, Grace. that's a gorgeous tree. Yours is like a really old oak. Mm. And I softened the tree. Yeah, that glows better now. That's a look. You got to be pleased with that. I'm better. That's a really good job. I'm always as well. pleased. Oh, I didn't cover up the splodge in the sky. Look. Don't matter. It's fine. That's really I lovely. I actually didn't notice it until you just pointed it no, out. No, I didn't notice no, it either. Noticed it. Always Jess, let's see what yours looks like, like on the screen because really? it always makes sense. Enthusiastic Paul, this is Jess, my daughter in law. That's that looks That's you know, lovely. Isn't? That's a nice Thank glow you. as well because you've got that contrast, you see, gradually getting darker. Yeah. Yeah, and well lost done. That, that line. I have lost that yeah. bad bit in the back. Sky, yeah, that's like lovely. Thank nice you. Nice and soft. The tree looks um, very uh, fake. Uh, lovely. Thank you. 
Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Grace, do you want Nice grassy bits as well at the front, which yeah. is lovely. Mm. Well done. And I like your sky. <laughs> I like everybody yeah. else's skies. Yeah, because it's the sort of night. Oh, yeah. Can I fit oh, it in? Your sky! Yeah, that's lovely. I didn't get I like your pink flowery bits. Pleased the Pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. I like the tree shape in that. And I love that. Nice colours. The, the yellowy, glowy bit. Oh, that's, you see, that's a lovely glowy. We've all got yeah. lovely glows, haven't you? Got a nice glow. It's a nice glow. It's not really. We've got a glow. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, oh your glow's gorgeous. Are you pleased with that? Yeah. Yeah. You have the tree at the back that's as well. That's come out really well. Then your trees, really trees are and lovely in the background as well. Tree. It doesn't look like it's not part yeah, of the Yeah, well done. Yeah. See, I love your tree, Jack. I'm not mad no, at it. It's no, better what? than my last one. It's better than my last one. I think it's very dramatic because the tree is the focus in this picture anyway. It is dramatic. And wow. The sky oh, wow. gorgeous. Yeah. And you've actually put the light where the glow is so it makes it even yeah. glowier. Yeah. <coughs> so I think that's really lovely. So having the tree so dominant Hold it works just there as so well. You can see the whole thing because it's a bit close to your thingy. Yes. It works. I think what I'd do, if I was doing it, something different, is I'd take that right hand side of black up rather than down. That? Yeah. Up. I suppose you could. I've got to do a bit higher, haven't I, on the right hand side? I'll do an extra not bit. It needs to be, but I, I, my eye just I like says I like trees. that. But I like not that. as high as the blue. That looks good. I think you've all done so well. That's right, wasn't opening and shutting. You've got to be pleased with that. <laughs> Yeah, You've definitely got to be pleased with that. So well done. Next month, either in person or online, whichever we're allowed to be, <laughs> it will be. Now, Ooh, sunset down a country lane, nice. so it'll be a nice Ooh, lane. Fancy that. Yeah. Have you got a picture in your head? Um, Is it in reality yet? I haven't got. I, I must have a photo somewhere for me to have done this, so I'll then have to spend the next four weeks trying to find the photograph that I have <laughs> in my file of tens of thousands of pictures. So, do you want to come on a Sunday? So, thank you for joining us, Paul. I'll finish.